is just a brief overview of my project to date. Initially, I started out to build a dual axis solar tracker using microcontroller technology. Um, here I have a prototype miniature PV panel. It's just to show how the actual system works. Here I have my microcontroller. Uh, I chose the Arduino Uno for this project. Could be here for the day to talk talking about the Arduino, but basically you have your app mega three to eight chip here. This is where most of the magic takes place. You have your three rails, you have your power rail, your analog input rail, and your digital output rail. With digital input as well, but for this project it's all digital output. You have your power jack here to power up the board. You have your USB connection to upload programs onto the chip. Um, what else? Are you? you use your this HU2 chip here for your serial communication. Your TX and RX LEDs, as I'm explaining in a minute. The power rail, you have your um, your reference pins, your reset pin. There's a built-in voltage regulator on the board, so you have your 3.3 volt and 5 volt outputs. There's two grounds and your VN pin. You have your six analog input uh, pins, A0 through A5. And on the far rail, your digital rail, these first two pins here, pin 0 and pin 1, are your TX and RX pins for serial communication. You can see here they're fed through here into your XB, which I'll explain in a minute. Pins 2 to 13 are ordinary digital pins. The, these pins with the tilde sign, see pins 10 and 11 there, the tilde sign stands for pulse width modulation, PWM pins. These are required to uh, drive the likes of the servo motors here. These yellow and green wires here, data lines, come down, they're fed into the the housing of the servos here, the data lines, and they drive the servo with digital signal. I also have an LCD set up on the circuit. The LCD is giving feedback from such things like this. I have a temperature sensor here going through uh, analog input A4. Again, this goes into the board into an ADC analog to digital converter, and a digital signal is sent out. In this case, it's fed onto the LCD screen to give a temperature read, uh, read temperature reading sorry um, onto the panel itself then I have four LDRs in each corner these LDRs are the um, drop in resistance drop the resistance as they're exposed to light um, each of these LDRs has two wires see the eight wires here collectively down through onto the breadboard, the first four LDR, first four wires of each LDR are fed onto the five volt rail here. The other four wires here of the LDRs are pulled to ground here with the 10K resistors, and then there's a line fed through pins A0 to A3 on the Arduino. Again, these are fed through an ADC analog to digital converter. Where the um, signal is, is changed from analog to digital and output through the servo pins. The servos move according to the light shining on, on the panel. Um, that's basically part one of the project. For part two, I built a, a single axis uh, panel over here. Again, you have your XP module and your microcontroller and to control this um, panel I wanted to use wireless communication and for this I chose the XB modules here they operate on the Zigbee protocol they, they're a radio, radio frequency of 2.4 gigahertz they're low power low cost uh, communication modules uh, here I used the Series 2 model. I tried out the project with the Pro Series as well. There's a greater range on but not required for this. This is a point to point network setup so the Series 2 are fine for that. Um, basically the, the XBs are configured and programmed through a uh, Digi interface uh, using XCTU software. And you get the two XBs talking to each other. 
uh, using the interfaces and the software and then you come up with your project um, I'll just plug them in give an example how it works so, first one in. now this is the first section I don't know if you see that now Contrast is very bright on it. It's calibrating at the minute. Running tests. Calibrating. Test 3 complete. Test 4 complete. These tests are the actual panel moving to check that the, um, the horizontal and the vertical axis are correct. You go back to the LCD here, calibrating, calibration complete, initiating tracker. And here the panel is it's actually facing straight up and at the minute to get the light up in the ceiling. But if I shine this light torch on it, it will, you can see it following it there. Move it up the way. Basically, it just follow. It follow the brightest source of light. In this case, now it's the torch. So we shine that. Let's settle there. Then where I am. Let's move again on the other. But anyway, that's that. The solar tracker. Down here, I have a potentiometer fed through to pin A5 on my board and if you look as I'm as I'm turning that here you can see the far over panel that's the wireless communication the, the both sections aren't connected in any way these wires are just for power power on the Arduino and same over here is the the Arduino. The only communi communication between the two are the XP modules. Um, that's basically it.